Hey, good morning, guys. It's Saturday. A little bit late. It's almost 10.30, almost 11 o'clock. Today, my goal is to check about three to four cameras. I just resalted this one right here about two, three weeks ago. But since it's the first one along this road, I'm going to come check it anyways just to see if it's getting hit or what. So stay with me. Hopefully I'm going to upload some video of what's been hitting the cameras. And we'll check all our cameras today. And then tomorrow the plan is to go shed hunt. Well, just hiking back to the truck after checking that first camera. Probably gonna get rained on today. There's a storm up in front of me and one other one behind me. Of course, it is monsoon season. But we got, how about, I think three or four other cameras to check. I brought two brand new 4K ones. I don't know if I'm gonna set them up somewhere today. I'm also gonna go shed hunting tomorrow. So I might find a new spot to put one of those cameras. But it's getting hot and humid. So I'm gonna jump back in the truck, drive to the next camera, and we'll see what's on there. Canvas cutter, I'll be sleeping in that tonight. Let's get at it. So I'm just leaving the truck. I've got a camera up on the other side of that hill over there. There's a big freaking canyon here. There is a road up over there. You still have to hike to where I have this camera. It's been in there since last year. But I'm hoping I can hike down here and maybe pick up an antler. I'm gonna park the truck right there on this side. And I'm hoping between hiking down and up and then down and up again that I might pick up something. I just have to hike through all these freaking locust bushes. So hopefully I find a good way down and I pick up an antler too. to the tank where my second camera is. It's right here on this tree. So I'm gonna check this. I haven't checked it since probably like September, maybe October, the batteries have to be dead. But let's see what's on it and go check the next one. Nice to come and find your camera still here.
Well, just checked my third camera. Just making it back to the truck. Sprinkling for a while. That camera had 3,500 pictures on it. And I swear I just reset it about a month ago, which is crazy. But I had it going off too fast. It was going off every five seconds. So I just set it on video mode with a 30 second delay. So hopefully it's not using as much storage space. The only bad thing is starting to look like the strip down there. There's two other cameras on top of my camera. So I guess we're running out of room to put cameras. Just pulled in here. Probably gonna camp for the night. Probably set up the cot, just throw the canvas cutter on it. And I'm up here on this real tall ridge. And tomorrow the plan is just to bomb off and side hill the south face of this. You can see how it drops off. But I'll be kind of just heading to the east and side hill and all this. Hopefully I pick up some sheds. Hopefully some bulls are in here wintering this year. So I'm gonna get my bed real set up, get some dinner and go to bed and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Hopefully tomorrow we're picking up a bunch of elk sheds. Well, so this is my sleep system. I bought two of those canvas cutter bed rolls at the Western Hunting Expo in February, and I've been using these pretty regularly since I bought them. Um, I bought one for me and one for Tia. Tia has yet to use hers. I don't think she's been on an overnight trip with me yet. But this is basically what I have. So I have that pole system. Comes with that purple uh, foam pad. I have a military mummy bag that I use and just a like a blow up pillow. It's a C2 Summit. I don't know if that's a brand or what. I bought that at uh, for a sportsman's warehouse. So sometimes I'll throw it on a cot. Sometimes I just throw it on the ground. But got lots of clouds. So I just barely missed a rainstorm today. It rained just east of me. Looks like it's circling around and heading south, but. I don't know if it's kind of come back this way or what, but hopefully, usually with these, I'm nice and dry. The water doesn't th go through that canvas. Wake up in the morning and be finding some shed, so make some dinner. All right, I just mixed up dinner. Got a mountain house chicken teriyaki tonight. These jet boils <clears throat> are pretty nice. This is all I use. I don't like to usually cook a lot of food out here. I don't like to bring a stove. Sometimes, very rarely do I have a fire. But I usually just pretty minimalistic as far as the camping and cooking. So pretty easy setup as far as my bedding. And just an easy dinner. And then we'll get hiking in the morning. All right, just waking up this morning. I'm gonna get some sort of breakfast going. Make sure I got some water, stuff to drink. And then I'm gonna start side hill on the face of this. Um, the goal is hopefully just to get in some of this higher country. I'm pretty sure this road's been blocked off till now. It looked like there was a tractor that had just cleared it up. Uh, I'm gonna take my binos obviously and I'm gonna be glassing as much as I can. Hopefully I can glass some, some sheds up. All right, I've got my pack loaded up. This is basically what I've been using. I've been using the EXO frame pack. It's the K2 frame pack. I usually just have three water bottles with me. This is okay in the, in the spring and maybe the fall, but in the middle of the summer, three bottles of water is not 
anywhere close to being enough. And then I'm gonna take this. This is my uh, crossover stabilizer for my bow. And it has this bino attachment on the top. I'm gonna use this to glass with today. I've had this since February. I bought this at the Hunter's Expo up in Salt Lake City, the Western Hunting Expo. And today's the first day I'm gonna actually put it to use, but hopefully I'm able to glass quite a bit, be able to find some sheds and you guys will see what I'm picking up, so stay tuned. All right, my heart just jumped out of my chest. Walked right by this guy. He didn't even rattle till I was right next to him. First one I've seen today. Hopefully that's the last one. Oh, that was a waste of time. Gave it a good five hours. Didn't hardly see any, any elk sign. I saw quite a few deer, lots of coos does. Just not worth my time. No elk sign, not a single shed. It's about to start raining, so I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Hey guys, just wanna throw this out there. <laughs> There's been a few comments lately. My friend Jay said he's had a few people say stuff to him. I work full time in construction Monday through Friday. I only go out hiking usually on the weekends on Saturday and Sunday. So people saying that they wish they had my life, you guys could have this life. I just spend my weekends out in the woods hiking, scouting, obviously looking for sheds or fishing or whatever. You can have this life too. I do not get paid to be out in the woods. I'm doing this kind of like a second job. So I work construction Monday through Friday every week. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'm out in the hills, no matter what, usually hiking or doing something. So you guys can do this too. You guys can be out there filming your adventures, hiking, shed hunting, doing what you love to do. You just have to make the time for it. Sometimes there's stuff going on the weekends. So you just say, sorry, I'm going to be out in the hills. I'm going to be out there hiking, doing what I love to do. So just wanted to throw this out there because there's a lot of confusion about what I do. Hey guys, so not all of you are on Instagram. I've announced this on Instagram a little bit, but I finally, we got some shirts made. So I ordered about, I don't know, 500 shirts or so. I've got about six different designs and about nine different colors. So I'm gonna go through and show you kind of what they are. I have shirts and some hats for sale. I've got a few FlexFit hats for sale. Uh, so if you guys are interested, you can contact me on Instagram. If you're local, I have them here at my house. My wife also has them down at her shop, her salon in Snowflake, which is next to Celebrations on Main Street in Snowflake. But I'm going to go through these real quick and show you what we have. Uh, I've been selling the shirts locally for 22 and the hats for 25 If I have to ship them out to you, the shirts are 25 each and the hats are 28 each. So let me go through these real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the colors and designs. I have obviously black with white. This is our elk archer tee. I have the uh, wolf archer. I have this in green with black ink. Can I have a few in gray in large and extra large? This is our bear skull tee. It's black with white ink. Just has the rogue logo on the back. I have a bunch of basic tees in different colors. So I've got a red shirt with black ink with the logo, a black with red ink with the logo. I've got a gray with black, basic black with white ink. And then I have a green with black ink as well. So those are the basic shirts. I think I'm missing one that's black with some green ink. We've sold a lot of those. I think I'm actually out of the mediums. I only have a few left. But if you're interested in those, and then I have four different flex fit hats right now. I've got three different blacks, black with white, black with red, black with uh, like an olive. And then I have like the OD military green with black ink. I have those in the flex fit, small, medium, and large XL sizes. So if you guys are interested, you can contact me just through the comment section here or DM me on Instagram and I'm, I'm usually pretty good about getting to you. You can mail me a check or you can set up a Venmo account and just uh, Venmo me. 
So just get in contact with me. Let me know what you guys are interested in. We'll get some stuff shipped out to you. Anyways, that'll do it for this week's video. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time.